Hello. Hello there. Yeah. So what's your name? My name is, uh, I'll show you my card, okay. Cecilia Rubin. I work at Stockholm Environment Institute here in Stockholm, Sweden. Okay, so you come here, uh, you from Stockholm? Yes. And why are you here? Well, I'm here because uh, my main focus is on uh, sustainable sanitation. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a, a large program within my institute. It's called the Eco Sunrise Program. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have an exhibit down here. We also uh, participate in a number of uh, sessions during the World Water Week. Okay. And uh, how's it going till, till now? Until now, it's been very hectic and okay. it will get even more hectic uh, <laughs> as the week moves along and uh, all the appointments that were missed along the way. So <laughs> I know that uh, it's usually a very, very tough week, but very, very re rewarding. Okay. And so Ecosan obviously is something that you're deeply interested in. Yes. So what's Ecosan? Well, uh, I like to refer to it as uh, sustainable sanitation, gives us more options. Some people think that Ecosan is one technology, it actually it's an approach, uh, considers the environment along with the need for collecting in a safe manner uh, human excreta. Uh, but uh, we also like to encourage a safe reuse mm -hmm. of the products mm -hmm. and uh, therefore we're now even moving on to, to calling it productive sanitation okay. because you can actually apply it in, in uh, agriculture and increase your uh, crop yields mm. substantially and this has been tried and uh, quite a bit of research has been done in India, in West Africa and other places. So uh, could you tell us a little bit more uh, about the research in India that, that you've okay. funded? Yes, uh, we've been involved uh, over the last three years uh, quite extensively in India. We've done a fair amount of capacity development over the years but in the last three years we've had collaboration with UNICEF India in the area of WASH, with their WASH se section. And we've mainly uh, been working with the Ministry of Rural Development and the Department of Water Supply, Drinking Water Supply and Sanitation. Uh, but uh, in, uh, to, to encourage policy reform, we've been very successful. Uh, there are many champions in India, so I cannot claim that the, the SER UNICEF uh, collaboration has actually achieved the the reform, but uh, I think we, one could say that we had some contributed some uh, to this particular reform. But uh, in addition to collaboration with the ministry, there's been a lot of uh, capacity development of uh, people at different levels, all the way from uh, masons and sens sensitization of the communities but also training of different types of uh, persons involved in the construction and maintenance of the toilets. And, the, it, and it's just not the toilets, it's the whole system in fact. It's a way of collecting the, the human excrement in a safe manner and preferably in a way so that there's no smell and uh, enable the reuse. So uh, there are quite a number of aspects to these sanitation systems and these installations. Uh, in addition to the capacity development up to the ministerial level, we've also been working, uh, supporting research at the uh, Agricultural Sciences uh, University in Bangalore. Uh, they've been working on maize and the banana production with the application of urine, the Banana Research Institute in Tamil Nadu, the National Institute. Uh, they've delivered a wonderful and very, very exciting report with a, which shows considerable increase in productivity of the banana plants while uh, applying urine as a fertilizer with a great deal of uh, money savings. Uh, uh, so that's very interesting. We've also supported a number of pilot projects. I think that's about it during three years, but okay. we, we have been very, very active and we've had an excellent consultant on the ground. Prakash Kumar and uh, he's now returned to his uh, native Bihar and uh, Patna uh, where he's still working with uh, in the area of sanitation and water. Thank you Cecilia.